Hey guys, wanted to give you an update. Um, the last clip I showed you, the undercarriage was done. It was POR15. I rock out of the frame and um, used chassis paint on the axles. Now I'm on to the interior. So here we are. Not looking too pretty, I know, I know. Um, everything was DA sanded with uh, sandpaper. This is 120 grit, doesn't really matter. Probably go as coarse as possible. What you're trying to do here is scuff up the paint, but not really go through bare metal. Like I got a few spots that are bare metal. And uh, you're basically just looking to get into the paint or the primer. And you don't want any shiny spots like this here. That's not really good for the paint to stick to. Um, I went ahead, I'm going to POR the inside of this, and then I'm going to Raptor line the inside of this. So uh, I really want that protection for the POR. I noticed that one video, one guy had did Raptor liner inside his Jeep, and he ended up with rust going through the Raptor liner. Now Raptor liner is supposed to be waterproof, so rust shouldn't be able to bleed through it, but it's very difficult to get perfect coverage with it. It's kind of like pebbly from what I see. And um, a lot of times people paint it on and it'll look good. And then from a certain light, you can sort of see the paint through it. So it's, it's really hard to get it unless you do a lot of coats, I guess, and you can tell if you did it really well. Um, so anyways, bottom line, I'm doing POR 15 on this. That's gonna give me perfect coverage and a waterproof barrier stop rust and it should be able to pull water in here and not uh not that it's ever going to but it should be able to get water in here and pool and not rust up my floors anymore so it's going to be pur from the outside and the inside and then wrap your liner for looks on the outside and um i'm going black for the inside i'm going to do the these wells really good like i said it, it doesn't really matter because i'm going to pur 15 it anyways but wherever is visual like this here i'm actually not going to pur 15 it. i'm just going to use the raptor liner on it um I do have some primer for these. Uh, there's a few areas here where I broke through into bare metal. And I also bought their um, uh, Grip 4 or whatever it's called. It's basically a um, adhesion promoter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to run you through that because I'm wearing a mask. I never told you that last video, but the degreaser that I use, um, I'll show you that actually because I had somebody ask me about that the other day. This stuff here, degreaser, industrial strength cleaner, which I use the same thing as marine clean. I think that's what they said, but that stuff there is absolutely potent. You fire that up and you get that in your lungs and you're, you die. Um, the metal prep, this stuff here, which gets rid of, um, well, it gets it ready for paint, bare metal especially. That there, I can tell you right now, is diluted rim cleaner. Um, the same stuff you use on aluminum rims. It's definitely not as bad as the actual rim cleaner which is uh, stuff like this, Simonized Rim Cleaner. And I have another one here. Meguiar's Hot Aluminum Rim, blah, 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 blah. That stuff there, basically you can tell it's sort of like an acid etch. And uh, it's got the same smell as that, but that one there is not as strong. So I did that to this. I degreased it. I also prepped it. And um, yeah, I, I just went all out on it because uh, I like to say it's, it's kind of a shame to do all this work and to skimp on your prep and then have, have your paint stick. So I haven't since then touched these with my hands even uh, to make sure I'm, it's degreased. I ran around with a heat gun and anywhere, any joints where I thought there might be some water in there, I went over it and went over it with the heat gun to make sure that I get all the water out of it as best as possible. And um, so there we go. I'm gonna go lay down the POR15 and I'll turn the camera back on. I'll show you the POR15 before I go and Raptor line it. And uh, hope you're enjoying these videos guys. Uh, peace. What's up guys? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take this off. Probably gonna die. It actually doesn't smell that bad anymore. Got my nifty little light. Here we go. Um, the tub was sanded, prepped, and now it's been uh, POR 15. There's a little bit of debris and little crumbs of shit in my paint, which is okay because uh, it doesn't really matter. This is gonna be painted with Raptor liner in a few minutes, actually in a few hours. Um, so I got all my holes plugged with little earplugs. That's an important step. Got my foot pedals and little baggies, everything wrapped up so I don't spray where I don't want to spray. And I'm going to be doing this edge here, black Raptor liner up the roll bars. And um, I didn't do the whole roll bars because it's, it's green and actually gonna paint the outside the same color green. And I'm also gonna spray this I'm gonna cover my machine in the back, which is all messed up anyways. But anyways, yeah, it, uh, it's looking really, really good. 
any spots where I had any kind of holes or anything I want to cover, I used a, a little piece of shop towel and I saturated it both sides. And that's what's gonna give me uh, a seal so there's no holes there. I've mashed that down a little. A little opening there. This stuff's still pretty soft. But yeah, that's a, that's about it. I like it. When that dries, it's gonna be hard, sealed. Got a few other spots that I did. Some spots where I put patches. I put that, again, I put the blue shop towel over it, saturated it, and uh, went along the seams just to make sure that there's no, there's no holes in there and that everything's soaked and um, gonna stay perfect. Well guys, um, oh, that screen looks really dirty. Anyways, I'm gonna drop the camera for now. I got another couple hours to wait, so I'm gonna go grab a, grab a snack and then uh, I'm gonna come back and shoot this thing. One thing, they give you a, a shoots gun. By the way, when you buy the kit with four bottles in it, even though it doesn't tell you it comes with a gun, it does. I ordered a gun and I ended up getting, uh, I bought two packs of four and I ended up with a couple extra guns. All kinds of guns now. There is a little nozzle here, a shorter one with a smaller hole and a longer one. Let's see if I can find the longer one. Probably left it in the bottle. Box me. This one. But the thread on this is different than the opening here. So I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with. Oh, 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 oh never mind. I just figured it out. All right. This is going to go in here so it can suck from the bottom of the container. That makes sense. I kind of thought I saw some videos with somebody with a with a long nozzle at the end here, but I guess not. So there you go. That that's that. There's no instructions with this thing at all. Probably because it's super simple, but I'm kind of retarded. So, so there you go. Gun. Boom, boom. I do have. Um, I gotta put that on there actually. Um, a regulator, because I'm gonna run this thing around uh, 40, 60 psi. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop the video. This is all bullshit. You don't need to hear. So, uh, see you in a bit. Hey guys, it's uh, 10.30. I've been at this since about eight o'clock this morning. And um, finally done Raptor lining the interior. And it looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try to hold this steady so you can actually get a good glimpse of this, but uh, it turned out perfect. Um, my first what I did was I um, PR 15 did, and then I waited about three hours. The window's between two and six hours, they say, to, uh, to apply other paint before it gets too hard. Um, I waited a couple hours, like maybe two and a half. It was good on the sides here. And on that side, it was a little tacky still, like a little bit more than I wanted to, but I didn't want to wait too long. And when I did the first layer of Raptor liner, it didn't turn out so good. Um, I ended up with some spots that kind of went smooth uh, because the uh, POR15 wasn't cured enough and uh, it kind of like sort of saturated into it. So I waited another hour and about 15 minutes and then I reapplied the second coat of uh, Raptor and it turned out amazing. Um, the Raptor sk skidded over at that point and was, gave it enough of a base to, to allow the texture to happen. And uh, I have no shiny spots whatsoever. Like it's, it's perfect. Really, really pleased with that. So if I can get the uh, the exterior to turn out this good, uh, we're gonna be in good uh, good shape. I'm gonna go with the same color. It's sort of like that greeny, foresty green. I don't even know what the hell of color that is. But that's the color I'm gonna do on the outside. I was originally gonna go white. Uh, white's a really touchy color. It looks awesome, but you could overdo it and underdo it. So you gotta be very careful. You don't turn it into a zebra. The green's a little bit safer, and the one thing that's really nice about the green is I don't have to worry about things like the roll bar, inside of the windshield, all around the trim, um, inside the engine compartment, you know, it's green already. I, I would not feel comfortable making it white unless I whited out everything else or blacked out everything to the point where you couldn't see any green. So this is really, really gonna make this job a lot easier and look a lot cleaner when I'm done. I still have a little bit of body work to do, uh, I still need to build my fender flares. The undercarriage is done. The inside tub's done. Um, basically, my interior is pretty much, once it's cures, I'm able to reassemble it if I, if I want to. 
I'm not going to yet. I'm going to finish up uh, the repairs. I have a few little rust spots here. So I'm actually gonna cut little plates and patch those. And then in the rear, right here, it was rusted out. So I cleaned that all out. That's all new. I'm gonna replace those. And I'm also gonna put some quarter inch uh, or some half inch bolts because I'm gonna have a skid plate that covers this section here plus covers down here. Um, that's gonna be something I'm gonna custom build. I started working on my bumper. I don't know if I showed that in my last video or so, or this video, but um, that's it there. So that's sort of uh, my license plate. And that's the top of it. And that's where the winch mount is. I'm gonna have a bully bar come up. Um, there's some LED lights going in here and here. So I've uh, been slowly plucking away at that. But uh, I'm gonna wait till I'm done all the fenders before I paint that. I'm also gonna modify the fenders in the front that's on there. So I've got a lot of work to, uh, to do still, but so far it's looking really good. I'm really looking forward to painting the outside of the Jeep because if it turns out as good as the inside of the Jeep, it's gonna look balling. It's gonna look like a brand new Jeep and that's the plan. It'll look nice and shiny. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.